We are often asked if a material meets NACE, and it's got us thinking. Are we all on the same page with what that means? We had our metallurgist sit down and explain it to us. This document, too frequently referred to simply as NACE, was first issued in 1975 by the National Association of Corrosion Engineers, now known as NACE International. NACE MRO-175 is titled Petroleum and Natural Gas Industries, Materials for Use in H2S, Containing Environments in Oil and Gas Production. It was issued as a recommendation of threshold limits of H2S, above which precautions against environmental cracking are considered necessary. In 2003, MRO-175 was adopted by ISO and designated as ISO-15156. It consists of three parts. Part 1 refers to general principles for the selection of cracking-resistant materials. Part 2 refers to cracking-resistant carbon and low-alloy steels and the use of cast irons. And Part 3 refers to cracking-resistant CRAs and other alloys. The H2S threshold limits have been established based upon a combination of operator experience and laboratory evaluation. The document continues to evolve with the addition of alloys and refinement of the threshold limits. How the threshold limits are defined varies between alloys or alloy families and the time period when the requirements were added or revised. For some alloys, the H2S threshold limits consider CO2, chlorides, pH, temperature, hardness, and yield strength. For other alloys, the limits are not as strictly defined. It provides guidance for the selection and specification of materials when the H2S thresholds are exceeded. This allows for fit-for-purpose testing to qualify a material for a specific application. It also provides some application-specific limits. It does not address loss of material by general corrosion or localized corrosion, such as pitting or crevice corrosion. It is also not a material specification in that it does not address minimum mechanical properties, manufacturing processes, or quality control requirements, such as microstructure and non-destructive examination. To make a long story short, just because a material meets NACE doesn't mean it is fit for service. A perfectly bad piece of material can actually meet NACE, and material specifications such as API, 5CRA, ISO 13680 address the requirements for mechanical properties and quality needed to further evaluate whether a material is fit for purpose.